Um, my name is Ines Hegedes Garcia. I don't like to talk about myself, but just to give you a little bit of background, I am Director of Strategy and Innovation for Avanti Way Realty. Um, I was 2019 residential president for the Miami Association of Realtors, which you guys are members. It's the largest in the US for those that didn't know. Um, I'm also 2020 chair of Emerging Technology Committee for Florida Realtors. So I'm involved locally at a state and national level uh, on NAR um, on the Federal Technology Committee as well. And I happen to be on the board of directors for Second Century Ventures. For those of you that don't know what that is, SCV is a venture capital arm for NAR and it's charge, in charge of the REACH program. What is REACH? REACH is the number one accelerator in real estate. So it accelerates top tech companies into real estate and adjacent verticals all over the world. So not just in the United States. So it's sort of a big deal. Um, my passion for technology um, is from my early adoption of social media. So I've been lucky enough to see very new technologies from the very, very beginning. Um, so prop tech is just one of my, my few passions. Um, from that is the reason I joined Avanti Way. So I met with one of the founders um, a little over a year ago, and he showed me exactly what I'm gonna show you today. And my jaw dropped. Um, remember, I deal with technologies all over the world that are jumping into the real estate industry. So for me to be shocked at, at the technology being offered by a local company in Miami, um, you guys here in Avanti, consider yourselves lucky because a lot of national companies do not have this. So the two founders are just really brilliant minds that I really admire. Um, one of them is a systems engineer, that's Enrique Teran. Um, the other one is a Georgetown business graduate, that's Andres Corda. Um, they have put together a magnific magnificent, talented staff that just complete the real estate industry and make our world just super cool. Um, with that, we're attracting tons of beautiful talent and agents. A lot of you are watching this today, so thank you for being here today. And just to start you with a little bit of a premise on technology and my belief on technology is that I really think that good tech is one that evolves, one that is constantly evolving depending on changes. And as we know, the real estate industry is changing as we speak. Look at what just happened this year, 2020 has been insanely crazy. So with that said, um, Avanti Way, this technology was not born yesterday. It's been developed for years, over 10 years to be where we are today. And it continues to evolve. So we continue to listen to agents' needs. We continue to listen to what's happening in the industry. And with that, um, we're always adding on and changing and just making the experience from the agent to the consumer just very complete and, be and better. I'm gonna start by sharing my screen. Give me one second. So can you guys see my screen just to make sure? Yes. Awesome, thank you, thank you, Ricardo. Um, please um, write questions as I go on the chat and at the end of the presentation, I'll go through questions. If you see anything that you feel that you need to interrupt me, please do. Um, I don't mind interruptions at all. Um, I'm like that bad teacher that if I get a bad student in my class that constantly interrupts, I may kick you out, but that's just a warning. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, okay, so here we go. This is our uh, sneak peek into our platform. So the first most important part of this platform is as agents, when we take a real estate course and we get licensed, um, we pretty much start farming an area where we live. Um, every class will tell you this. That's the easiest part. You're close, you know it, farm it. And we never take the time to really analyze the area. What's the absorption rate? How, many, how much is being paid out in commissions? We don't really take the time to analyze and see if it's going to worth our effort, our time and money to put into a, uh, a particular area. So that is the biggest premise that we have. It doesn't matter if it's the beginning of the year or the end of the year getting ready for what's to come the next year. 
a business plan for us is key for your business. Obviously, awesome uh, when you're at the end of a year to get started, but the reality is that we push this business plan every, for every agent that joins our company. So I'm gonna grab one of our hot markets right now in Miami, just because I, I think it's interesting to analyze it from, from that perspective. Um, you can search by area, by zip code, by building, um, by neighborhood, by schools. In this case, I'm just gonna go simple and I'm gonna search Miramar. So in just seconds, you have a breakdown of what a particular subdivision or neighborhood is doing. So you know exactly what you're getting into. Miramar right now tells you that the average price per square foot is 197. Obviously it's pulling the macro data of all of Miramar, which is a really large area. Large, so large that it says it has over 9,800 households. But look how interesting this is. The first number it tells you is how much has been paid in commissions in the last 12 months. As agents, we don't wanna go into an area that we're seeing no sales. We don't wanna waste our time, money and effort, like I said before, into farming an area that's not gonna give us uh, a good ROI. So Miramar has had $11.1 .1 million paid in commissions. But the interesting part of it is that the average price, close price has been under $400,000. So imagine $11 million paid in commissions. It's a hot seller's market with one month of inventory, which means at the rate of current sales, so with the amount of inventory, it's taking a month to sell properties. So from the business part perspective, I don't care if you're working, if you're going to be a seller's agent or a buyer's agent, you're going to know that if you get into a hot seller's market with one month of inventory, you're going to have a really different type of strategy when it comes to marketing. Um, if you're working with buyers, you know you're going to encounter yourself in a multiple offer situation and bidding wars. If you're on the seller side, you better have a strategy already set and waiting, knowing that properties are selling that fast and above asking price. The, the benchmark also gives you um, the amount of discount from listing price to final sales price is 5% average. It gives you that absorption rate of one month and it gives you the average price per square foot. But look how interesting it gets. Light blues are properties or sell, sales and the dark blues are inventory. Look how there's no inventory right now in Miramar. And it tells you what's selling the most, you can analyze by bedroom in this case, is three bedroom properties. Those three bedroom properties are selling a two or two a square foot on the average. If you go to a four bedroom, the price drops to $188 a square foot. So this is when you're listing a property, it becomes a little bit easier to get to that magic number, what the market says the property is worth. You can also analyze by size and look at this, what sells the most. It's pretty obvious with this bar graph is properties between 1500 and 2000 square feet. Year built, if you know Miami well, you know that there's some areas that are newer or older, so you're gonna know exactly what's selling the most. But in Miramar in particular, most of the construction happened between 2000 and 2009, and that's what sells the most. And price range happens to be my favorite when you're thinking of farming. Right here it says that the sweet sales spot pricing, if you're working an area, is between two hundred dollars and $400,000. Now, the reason I like to see what that price range is, because when we saw before, we have over 8,000 households. So if you're thinking of investing money into marketing an area and farming an area, farming an area with almost 9,000 households is very costly. So we start with a really macro market and we try to go into micro sections of it to see within Miramar, is there a particular section that I'm interested in working? You can choose a price range between 200 and 400,000, which is what's selling. Let me tell you where that's gonna take you um, a little bit further on into the, the business plan. 
Buyer commissions, it's pretty 50-50 here. 51.3% are offering 3% or more. Um, we cannot fix commissions that's against our license and against um, realtor um, licensing laws. So what does that mean? That means I have a lot of agents that are constantly asking me, oh my God, I, these people are offering 2%, what do I do? Well, the reality is here in Miramar, half of the properties are offering less than 3%. So just expect that. When you have a buyer and you're working that area, just know that you have a 50-50 chance of being offered 50%. If you're on the listing side and you have a seller that wants to offer less than 3%, you can give them this information and say, listen, you'll have a better chance obviously to, to get more commission, but in this case, you have a 50-50 chance. Um, these graphs are really cool because you can actually turn them all off. In here, we're looking at solds in one year and you can see what the sales are doing in the last year. Remember, we're on the 20th, so this number is gonna change a little bit by the end of the month. Active, so you can see what, in, what inventory has been doing in the last two months. So because the market was so hot, now we're starting to see an increase in inventory. This is gonna give you statistics and an idea of what to expect in a few months from this market if obviously um, inventory continues to grow. And then you have your absorption rates that are really easy to see. This one's key, where are buyers coming from? So the next informational graph is gonna tell you not only are they coming from the United States, but they're coming also from Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina, and China. So if you're getting a listing, you're gonna advertise in the countries where these buyers are coming from. But also if you're trying to pick up buyers, you know if buyers are coming from these countries, then you can start advertising and using tools and social media to get to those countries that are buying in this particular area. It tells you 19.7% of all sales are cash, which is a little low for Miami, but this gives you a really good expectation when you have a listing, when you're working with a buyer, how hard it is, how difficult it will be to get um, financing or for financing to be accepted by a seller. You also have average buyers and price per quarter. Um, this one I love, type of ownership, 69.9% are primary residents. Okay, these are people that actually homestead their property. 30% are gonna be investors, which are not just people that are flipping houses. Um, they're people that are buying us an investment to rent or a second home or a vacation home. Then as you want to get your markets to go more micro, like I was saying previously, you have um, top five indicators, both by subdivision, by unit and volume. And you can see within Miramar, which subdivisions within Miramar are having the most sales. And here it says Silver Shores, Miramar Park, Villages of Renaissance are the top three subdivisions. So then it gives you the opportunity to go back to this business plan, only pick those subdivisions, the top selling subdivisions, and then start marking an area that, that it's easier to handle. The next part is all about predictive analytics. So a lot of you have heard about Remind um, and the, that whole aspect that you can buy leads that, that are, um, and the other one, um, SmartZip is the other technology. I know that I paid SmartZip about 1500 bucks a month for a while. Um, these are systems that recognize triggers of people that are gonna sell. That way you're not just doing blanket marketing you have a better idea of where to market yourself that you're going to get results. The number to the right, this is 1,100 direct leads that the system gives you. So we buy this, and this is the triggers. There was a death in the family, there was a divorce, or someone in that household bought a pregnancy test. This is crazy because you know either of those three triggers are going to cause a sale. They need to either um, upgrade their house, downgrade their house, or they have some sort of financial problem that they need to sell the property. Um, we teach strategies on how to address these 1,100 people. And when you download this Excel, they're already scrubbed with the do not call list. You get immediately... Um, telephone numbers, email addresses, names and addresses. 
the number all the way to the left is a really cool strategy. And it's people who are renting in the area whose lease expires in four months. You're gonna have an address, what they pay in rental and when their lease expires. We also teach strategies on how to convert those into either rent them something differently or convert them into buyers, especially with the low interest rates today. We also give you lists of realtors that have had transactions in the area. And you know, there's no better place to advertise a listing or a need of a client with agents that know the area and have worked the area before. Um, we also have for sale by owners and expires, which we obviously teach strategy, but those are more common numbers. The system lets you generate a report, which we're gonna go over in two seconds. This is what we call the 3D market analyzer is one of my favorite tools in the system. Maybe you're gonna hear a lot of this, but it's, it's the truth. And the next part of this business plan, and by the way, you can save as many of these business plans as you want, is picking a custom price range. So we identified before that what's selling in Miramar the most is between $200,000 and $400,000. And notice how fast the system just calculates everything. Let's say I wanna make $100,000 my first year selling properties in Miramar. It tells me is really easy to accomplish. That's 1.85% of market share. That means, and it gives you goals, two appointments weekly, 11 monthly, 13 sales per year. And then it'll give you the benchmark again based only on that price, price range. So you can see all the numbers I showed you before based only in that price range that we mentioned. Now, here's the, what's interesting here. Let me see, did it? You can actually um, download the report. You can download it as a PDF or save it, but we're gonna go to the previous page. We're gonna to go to the link of the report, the 3D market analyzer. <clears throat> and this is, this is just really crazy because I remember doing call to actions with my own marketing and creating landing pages. And the fact that this system just produces this with no, nothing but just a click of a button is just so amazing to me. Um, marketing is my second forte. Um, and I always teach in my marketing classes that there's nothing like providing relevant content. As agents, we make tons of noise and, and we tend to turn the consumer off. The consumer just doesn't wanna hear any one more agent just screaming at them with noise. So providing relevant content, which one of the most popular things you can provide is a market report of the area. It doesn't matter if a person is planning to sell or not, but if you stay in their face with relevant content through a, re a, a specific period of time, they're always going to remember you when it comes time to sell. So take a look at what this market report looks like. Number one, it's eight simple pages. It grabs your information from the profile from our system from Avix. And then it gives the benchmark that we saw earlier in a really easy way for the consumer to read where buyers are coming from the type of ownership and it just produces a really simple and clean presentation. Now, you have an option here to print a PDF, to grab a link, or to actually print it in our offices. We, we have color printers in all our offices that provide these beautiful pamphlets. My favorite part here is that you create a direct call to action where you can share the link of this report in all of your social media or direct email, and the consumer will have to leave their information to be able to download it. When you generate this link and you copy it, you can add it to your Instagram, to your Facebook, to your mail, and they need to, these leads go directly into the agent's email. So it doesn't go to support or anyone in the company, it goes directly to the emails. This is by far my favorite. I've had really great results using this and teaching agents how to utilize this in, in creative ways. Any questions up to now, guys? Okay, so I'm gonna continue. The next part that I'm gonna show you is forms. 
So the premise of the system is the Miami Association of Realtors does a fantastic job giving us all kinds of tools for us to work efficiently. Now, it's hard to say the word efficient when you're bombarded with 200 different tools and you need to figure out which one's gonna work for you. So if you guys have been in my shoes and I love to A-B test and test all these technologies, like I said before, it takes some time to go into the platforms, see what they do, see how they function. And then imagine you're being offered 200 of them, which ones are you gonna use and why? Where are you gonna get the most results from? So we have everything in one single place. That's our premise is how can we give you something that's super powerful in one single place? It doesn't mean you can't go out and use an additional tool, but what I'm saying is that everything that you will need will be here in this system um, in forms. So right now, if you're about to click, um, if you're going to submit an offer, you would have to go to form simplicity. You would also have to go into the tax role. You would have to search for the owner's name. Um, and you, at the same time, you have to search, make sure that the information that gets populated into form simplicity is correct when you're filling out the stuff. So you have to have different systems and you need to know your contracts, obviously. So you need to know if it's a condo, you're gonna have a condo writer. If the house was built before 1978, you need a lead based um, paint addendum. The system does, it ev does everything for you. So I'm gonna pick an example. Let's do a sales contract. Um, I'm going to do just any old, let me see. I'm going to do an A109. I'm going to pick any listing that just appears here, very random. Okay, here's one property. I don't know what this property is that I just picked. Okay, so right now the system already pulled the owner's name from the tax roll. So you don't have to open the tax roll to get an owner's name. It, it picked the Zillow price at 534. The RPR price is already in this one place. It's telling you that the average time on the market by the zip code is 87 days. And this house has always has already passed that at 93 days. It tells you the market is a buyer's market, wherever this listing is that I picked. And it's listed at 555. So you're sitting here with your buyer and you're saying, okay, it's a conventional loan. Your buyer says, well, Zillow says 534, RPR 555, um, offer 500. So let me start with a 500. Okay, when you put the price and the system already tells you whether it's a strong offer or a weak offer based on data from the, from the transaction and from the county and from statistics from the area. It says you're discounting 9.91% where the average discount in the area is 3.54. So it's already identifying the offer as weak, but look how cool this is. It grabs the listing agent stats and tells you this particular agent has 14 years of experience. So you're not dealing with a newbie, has not had any closings in the last 12 months, but their average discount is 5.45. So it's a little bit higher than the average in the vicinity, but you're discounting 9.91. So giving this information right now, you have power. It gives you power to identify, you know, is my deposit week? Is my offer week? How is the listing agent going to have um, negotiate this property? So let's assume you keep it at the $500,000. Or you know what, maybe you convince your person to go 510. Let's just see how it becomes a little bit closer. It's still weak. You're at 8.11 discount. So anyway, you just put, um, it's an ASIS contract. You click next and look what the, what the system will do for you. Oh, you have to put how much you're financing. That's important if you have a loan. So it's an eight, it's a conventional 80% financing. I always say that when there's an error, it's user error, always. Like I did something wrong, let me go figure out what I did wrong. Um, you have the ability to put your buyer's name in here. It already fills out the seller. I'm gonna do a test through me. You put create contract. That's all it takes. And look what the system does automatically. It identifies 
that the house is built before 1978. So it's gonna include your lead paint addendum in there, which is a must for the closing. Um, and it's gonna include the assets. It's gonna fill out the contract completely. All you need to do now is check your dates, review it fast, but it's everything's there. Um, it puts, I think, let's go down 10 days for inspection period. And you can still make changes here if you don't like what was filled out. But we have a transaction department as well that if you happen to put in here, change the inspection period to a day, you'll probably get a call from our transaction department saying, are you sure you want to do this? Now, what's going to be next in our system? I was talking about evolution of technologies you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to walk into a property with your client, with your phone. And it's gonna give a pop-up is gonna come up and it's gonna say, you're at 1245 Northeast 99th Street. Would you like to place an offer? Yes, no. You're gonna press, press it in there and it's gonna fill all this out automatically while your client is in front of you and you'll be able to submit an offer right there on the spot. So these are the things that are just super exciting about having something that's efficient and it just makes you look so smart in front of your client. So with that said, you wanna sign the contract. You know, right now you either use form simplicity or you have to export that PDF and upload it to DocuSign. Then you have to go one by one and, and put signatures on everything that you need to do. You know how annoying that is. Well, here it just prepares your document. You can send the signatures directly from the system. And the best part of it all, all your signatures will be placed exactly where you need them. And that's my um, Wi-Fi. So you'll see all the signatures will be placed. I think that was, I lost my signal for two seconds. You guys are there, okay. All you do is send directly from here and that's it. That's all you have to do. And you can copy, you can create as many parties. The system also allows you to, to upload any document. It doesn't have to be MLS related. So you have the ability to send addenda right through the system or any other documents that you need signature, you can upload straight through here. Any questions up to now? Okay. Once you have, um, once you have an executed contract, you'll be able to create a transaction. So this is a whole transaction management platform that just makes your life easier. Um, is you, if you are as OCD as I am about management um, transactions, this is gonna make your world so much easier. So once the transaction is here, you have a way to upload all your documents. And remember, this is on the cloud. So you'll have access to this wherever you are. So if you happen to be traveling at the time that you're under, a, overlooking a transaction, you have access to all of your documents if you have Wi-Fi. Um, you add all the contacts to the transaction and you can give them the ability to actually go in through the transaction management portal and take a look at it. So your buyer or seller has access to everything to do with this transaction and can access it at any time. The system identifies required documents that you need to upload. So the bank commitment, an escrow letter, IDs from your client. So everything is there sitting in red, ready for you to upload. The beauty of sharing this with your client is if they see, oh, she needs my ID, they can upload it themselves as well. So they can help you with the transactions. At Avanti Way, we actually hold escrow. Um, and it's not the typical, oh, let me give a check to a manager and wait till they're available to deposit it. And time is of the essence, right? You make your own deposits in our offices. We actually have machines where you call support and they make a direct deposit to the bank. If it happens to be a personal check, all you do is take a picture of it and upload it. So you don't even have to go to the office. Best part, you know how annoying it is to wait for the title company to produce an escrow letter? Here it is. Escrow letter. You're ready. As soon as you make the deposit, you're, you can send it over to the other party and it's produced. So 
The system will also give you a timeline. So you'll have tasks um, and, and important dates that you need to remember. So the closing date, when the initial deposit, the second deposit, the inspection period, closing date. Uh, so everything is in one single place. And most importantly, you have a support system that's always looking out to make sure that you're not missing anything from the transaction. So this, this is super powerful to help you organize yourselves and make your, um, your life a lot easier and more efficient. Another part that I'm gonna tell you, once you have a listing, once you import the listing to the MLS, it creates a client portal for you that you can also share with your client. But look how cool this is. Instead of having now to go to the MLS and, and share with your seller, you know, how long it's been on the market, what other properties have come in, you'll have it right here. So sold listings since this property came on the market it'll give you a list of every sold property in that location all your um the contacts associated with that listing you can input you'll have all the documents associated with it as well but look how cool this is exposure you right now we have the ability to tell your your sellers oh, we're syndicating your listing and it's appearing on hundreds of websites. Well, it's not just telling them, it's showing them where their properties are appearing, you know? So they can go and see, you know, in, in addition to if you want a particular website that you wanna show your client, you can add it in here as well. But where exactly is the exposure on, like for example, Google, just to give you an idea. 62,000 results where this listing is appearing right now in Google. I mean, this is super impressive to show uh, a client exactly where their properties are. And then marketing, you have the ability to order marketing for your listing directly from here, from flyers to listing emails, postcard campaigns, and so much more. So this is a really fantastic one. In addition, it's going to tell you what the um, days on the market is according to the area. So this particular listing has been on the market 110 days and the average of the area is 133. So this really helps you negotiate a price reduction or something else that you may have to do with this listing to get it sold. Any questions? And then um, we launch just a couple of weeks ago, last week, we announced the launch of our marketing suite. And this is really the cherry on top for our system. So in addition to incorporating a full CRM into our platform, we also have the ability to create landing pages. So I wanna show you one that I created just to, to show you here. I talked about it before, which is the direct call to actions that we have from our 3D market analyzers. But here is a Miami Shores market report. This is an area that I happen to, to um, work in and farm. So look how easy it is to create. And so when, then when the client downloads this market report, they actually get the report, the 3D market analyzer. It's a one-step thing added to the CRM and that CRM is gonna add on to a drip campaign automatically. So these are things, like I said before, evolution of technology and changes in the industry, which make you just more efficient as an agent. And these are tools that we're constantly coming up with just to improve your marketing. The other thing in the marketing suite is a materials design center. So look how in incredible this is. Whether it's digital or print advertising, let's think digital. Okay, let's assume I want to create a social media post for one of my listings. Look at all the templates provided in here to use a new listing in your social media campaigns. And you have the ability to click on any one of these and just add the relevant information to the property, your information as well, saving it. You can save it as a PDF, a JPEG, or share it directly to your Facebook or Instagram directly from the system. We also have incorporated web conferencing directly from our system. So you can create Zoom calls with your clients and you know how important that is right now to go over exactly what their marketing is, what you've done for them, or just to 
do um, client meetings. And the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys today, which is something that is very impressive is the MLS agent production aspect of our system. So you have the ability to search any agent in South Florida and what their production is. I don't use this to be curious on what my competition is making because that's never been my thing. I've, I've always marketed myself to be the best, not, not be curious about what my competition is doing. But for example, I'm gonna pick one, a, a random person from this system. It teaches you not only what you've done in the last 12 months, but in all the years historically, how you have managed your business throughout your career. So this particular agent, um, the light blues are sales, does only sales, very little rentals, and you can see like his highs and lows. So if I'm meeting with this particular agent, or if I'm just curious, I'm going to ask, you know, what happened this month, you know, January 2019, that your production went down? Um, I also like know that it's six months and that whatever you did six months of, uh, ago is what you're going to see results for now. So it's so much, you know, it was January of 06. So that probably means by mid the year before 2018, what was this agent doing differently? Or look at this one, you know, the sales for um, April of 2019 were incredible. So what was, what was he doing six months before to achieve that amount of sales? But this one is even more. You get an agent heat map of where sales happens. So you can see this agents all over Dade and Broward County. So what's interesting to see is sometimes when an agent just really focuses on an area, this particular one is just all over the place. And then they're working with agents only from the United States. Sometimes you'll, you'll get an agent that you can see particularly they're working with Argentina, for example, or one country in South America or Europe. And it's really great to see what that production is. So this helps you analyze and I'm all about you know, every year you sit down in addition to your business plan, what did I do in the last year? What did I get good results from? Or what did I get no results from? Eliminate the no results and do more of what got you there. Um, and this is awesome to take a look at yourself and take a look at, at exactly what you have been doing and how to improve and tweak your business to make um, additional money. We also have a number of calculators, affordability calculators, and an investment report that identifies ROIs, cash on cash is really amazing if you work with investors. So I think um, I don't wanna take a lot, a lot of your time, but I just wanted to show you what, what our systems provide. Um, I love feedback. I'm gonna go to see if you guys have any questions. And then, um, and obviously I'm here, if you guys have any questions to contact me, if you need anything in additional. So I have a question from George. On the contracts, 100% of the time, the other agent asks us to change the word balance to an actual number, same as the date within 45 days. I know you can edit the numbers and date, but maybe as a suggestion, since most of the times they're asking us to change it, could have a questions asked before creating the contract. That's a great suggestion, George. I love to write balance. And the reason I like to write balance in, a, in while you're negotiating is because then you'll have 10 corrections on that line while you're negotiating a deal. And then the lender, then you have to redo the first page because the lender doesn't like to see the negotiations. So balance to me is fine. I like to educate the other agent if they're asking for an actual amount to let them know, you know, it's the same thing. The, the word balance just makes our life a little bit easier. And just in case there's a mistake in math, which is possible, balance really saves that from happening. So um, thank you once again, guys. I don't see any more questions unless someone wants to ask me anything before we take off today. I appreciate your time. Thank you for being with me today. And I wish you um, the best of luck in everything that you're doing. 
I know that we've had a, a rough year, but you know what? I really truly believe in technology and everything that we can do with the right tools. And this is exactly what we offer here. So for Avanti agents, thank you for being with us. You know, we love you. And for those of you that want to hear more about the company, hit us up. We're more than happy to meet with you and answer any questions. Have a fantastic rest of your day and see you soon.